Hey, Elemental just dropped beta version 3.23 and this is one of those off the cuff videos because I want to quickly go through three big things that they are now releasing. Remember, this is the beta version. You got to go over to your WordPress website, go to tools and say you want to have beta enabled, but always do this on a test or staging site. Never do this on your live production website. Three big things they have kind of given us, right? New search features whereby you can now have live results and it is actually quite good. We've got a floating widget and this is pretty damn impressive. Okay, sorry, I've said this wrong. There's a new search widget, the floating button. That is really neat because I remember there were some questions in the forum and I can't wait to show you that. And we also have, there was a third thing. Where's it gone? A link in bio, a bit like Linktree in a way. And there's many ways you can build this without having to use Linktree. But this is also a really neat feature. But like I said, this one over here, Floating buttons, you get a big clue as to what this does. See the WhatsApp symbol over there? Yep, get excited. This is now here. But let's start off with the search results. So remember, you got to have a beta version 3.23 enabled. Right, I'm going to go over to this page here. And what you want to do after you've gone and enabled it is go over to your settings, go over to your features, and you need to enable link in bio, floating buttons. You got to make sure they're active. If they're not active, none of what I've shown you is actually going to happen. And you also want to activate the search as well. Let's do a search for search. Kind of ironic that, right? So that's what you're going to be used to. I'm not going to style this out. This is just my fake uh, test website. I am though just going to go and make this be a little bit wider because it does help with the way the results are shown. And I'll explain that in a moment. So let's just make it be about 58%. Uh, so normally when you are viewing this, and I'm going to hit update and go to my preview, Normally, you might go in and do a search for, say, part of a word or hello. No, let's just go with hello. Yeah, let's go with hello. And I hit search. So I've just got two fake posts, all right? This is a fake search results template. I don't know why I keep saying fake because it's not actually fake. If you go over to plugins, you go to templates, save templates. I go to all. I already have a search results template. So whenever you hit search, it goes over to this template, okay? That's why the results are coming through here. It's just like image, uh, ta um, post title, and read more. I'm now gonna go back over to my search results. And remember, I'm not styling this out. If I go to where it says results, remember, okay, I've, I'm probably rushing this, okay? This is, you should be used to using this if you are using it already. But here's the new thing. When you go to the content tab, you now have results and we also have live results. Now, when you activate that, you, you won't see anything change, but you do have the option of adding in a template. Now I'm gonna drop in this particular template and I've already built it because I was kind of using it for some loop grid um, stuff as well. But what you could do is build out a brand new template a loop template, you could style it to look a certain way. If I show you this template, if we just go to edit template, it's very, very basic. It's just like a, a button for click it. I'll take you over to the post. We've got the title and we've got an image. I haven't done anything fantastical with it. I've just kept it really, really simple. But the idea is, is that now, uh, let me make sure here we go. When you now do a search for live results, you can either hit search and it's going to take you to the search results or when you start to type part of the word minimum at three characters, I could increase that to five, six, maybe even just have one to whatever you want. It's going to give me those live results before I go to the search page. I don't even have to go to the search page. I could just click, click here and go straight to the post. I'm going to have uh, one column or two columns. I'm going to go with two. In fact, I'm going to have um, them side by side. In fact, should I just show you one and then I'll show you two? and I'll have six items, okay? So I'm gonna hit update, go back over to my page, all right? So this is my page, and I'm now just gonna type part of the word. So I'm just gonna go with hell like that, not even the word hello. Can you see what we've got here? If I hit search, I'm gonna go to my search results page. But if I go click here, I will now go to the post. Let me go back over to this, and let's go and change this to now be two columns, okay? And let's hit update. Go back over to my preview and I'm going to type hell again. Can you see what we've got there? Now, if I had not widened this, do you remember right at the start, I went over here to my advanced tab and I widened it. Let's say it was like that and I now hit update. This is quite important. because If I go and do hell now, that looks really not so good. But if it was one column, you could make it work. 
So you got to think about your width of your search and what you want to do. But basically, that's what it is. And I think it's pretty damn good. And you can stylize it out, you know, your submit button, you know, your results and all of that, obviously your search results template. But if you go and create a template, I've just used a pre-existing one, but you can, could create a completely brand new search results template. I had it with, let me just go back in again. Uh, there we go. Look, I had it with the image and then the, the title. I mean, look, it's not showing properly because I haven't stylized it, but if you'd stylized it, you'd have your title and your button there. You could have it with the image and the title and the button horizontally as well. So have a think about what you want to do. So that is the first big thing they've gone and done live results. And before you would actually have to use additional third party plugins or other add-ons to get that, it's now here. Here's the other really cool thing. Let's go back over to editing. I'm just going to get rid of that. Let's now have a look at the floating button. Now, if you were to go over to your page and you start typing in float or button, you're not going to get anything. What you actually need to do is build out a template. Let me show you. Okay. If you go over to templates now, after you've activated everything, you will now have a feature here called floating buttons. Go and click it. And what we're going to do is click add new and we're going to create a template. So we now have a completely brand new section over here. I went and clicked it and now I have a draft. Can you see I'm doing this on the fly? This literally feels like we're doing this live, but it's not live because I've edited it probably not in a really good way and you're probably watching. You go to floating buttons, you now have this new area. We're going to go click add new. And it's going to give you these pre-existing templates. There's loads here for you to pick. I mean, there's so many options here and they it's kind of good that they give it to you like this. Now, I'm intentionally going to go and pick the WhatsApp one, mainly because there were questions in the forum where people were saying, how can I do this? Now, I'm not going to mess around with this too much other than the fact you have got options down here. And I know my face is covering it. I'm going to show you how we can move this in a minute. I'm going to go back to WhatsApp. I'm going to go to the advanced tab. I'm going to stick this at the top and I could put it in the middle. I could put it on the left. I could put it on the right. I can mess around with how it looks. Obviously, when you get to the mobile as well, go to responsive view. You can go to your content, drop in your number. If you were in Messenger, you go and pop in your username because obviously it's going to go to your Facebook uh, account wherever you want. You could have it maybe just go and drop in an email. I mean, Skype as well. Who uses Skype these days? Like, does anyone actually really ever use Skype? Anyway, WhatsApp. Um, are you going to have a notification dot or not? Uh, there's loads of stuff you can do here. Like, I could go and stylize this out and have a completely different image. You know, what words do you want to say? What name do you want to say? What do you want to say in your button? Do you want to say click to start chat? And for anyone that's wondering, yes, you can go and modify the colors as well. So you might want to go and pick a particular color see what it's doing over there, go and change the icon color, entrance animations. There's options here for you to make this bespoke with the colors. And I will do a much more full blown tutorial on this when the final version is out. But here's the really, really cool bit, right? If we go over here to display conditions, remember, this is a template. If I go and hit add condition, I could have this on the entire website or I might say this is only going to be on, say, the home page. So we're going to go for the home page and I'm now going to hit save and close. So let me now go over to this page and I refresh it. It is not there. And I change this to the home page URL. Can you see it's there? I'm in preview, which is why we're getting the black bar at the top. I click that and that is coming up with uh, her, him, they, Dorian Hayes coming up. I mean, I could go click to start chat and it's going to go over to WhatsApp again. You were using a third party solution before to start doing something like this. So if I was to go back over to my style page or my other page, whatever this one was, it's not appearing because I've gone and set a display condition for my particular button. So I can control where it appears based on display conditions. It is a template. I mean, that is just two really neat features. And we haven't even gotten to the third one yet, the search live results. Not everyone's going to want to do this, but if you've got a really big website with loads of blogs and maybe you have a menu system or food or products even, it's, it's literally there quick on your page without having to go to the search results because sometimes the search results templates can, can be quite boring. 
But this floating button, super sweet, okay? Now the third thing is the link in bio widget. So we're gonna go back over to my page, which is here. And I'm now gonna type in bio and you will now see over here links. Let's just drop in the link. There were some other options there as well, which I'm just gonna type in link again. You'll notice over here, classic showcase services, business card and portfolio as well. So I've dropped in all six. We got the classic, we have the links one, which is mainly just links. We have uh, the showcase version. We have the services. And then down here, we got portfolio and we've also got business card. Now I'm just gonna go and work on the business card one because that's very similar to what they're showing you here. Let's pick this image in over here. You don't have to have an image, by the way. There's different variations that you could even delete the image if you want. So if you don't wanna have it there, I could get rid of it. You could pick a profile image like that. You can size it up. You got bio, change your words. If you don't wanna show some text to take the description over here, you do that, you get rid of it. You can get rid of the heading there as well. You got icons, add your icons. Uh, do you wanna have a call to action button? I mean, look, download. You can have a file download. You can have a URL. You can even have a WhatsApp. I mean, this is really, really crazy good right now, what Elemental have done. This is innovation, right? This is the kind of innovative thinking we've been crying out for. And we are getting it in buckets and spades at the moment. You can stylize up. Sorry, I'm on the wrong one there. The image, you know, make it bigger, border radius, color your buttons, all of that. And there's all these options here for you. Literally like a link tree page. You could drop it in on a page, share that URL. Remember checking it looks okay on mobile. So rather than using link tree and other options like that, you could just share this. In fact, I did a video on how to create your own link tree page, which is now going to be so out of date. So I'm probably going to have to release it tomorrow or very soon so it doesn't completely go out of date by the time this beta version 3.23 comes out. But this is super sweet. I mean, look, if you were going to showcase services, you could drop this on your page. And remember, you can stylize it out in terms of its width. Go to the advanced tab. You know, if it wants to be slim, have it slim, have it wide. There are other things that Elemental have done in 3.23. Uh, so they've made the nested elements more optimized. There was a bit of an issue with this in terms of a bit of lag and slowness when editing. They've sorted that out. Some accessibility improvements and there are other improvements here. The link will be in the video description. This is off the cuff. Right. I was looking at it an hour ago and I was like, yeah, this is working. This is really, really good. Can't wait for the final version to come out to really showcase it. But like I said, the search results, the floating button, this is mega powerful. I'm telling you now for shops, blogs, customer services, you know, um, you could have multiple um, templates. So you could have a template for, say, uh, a services page. Maybe you've got a rental accommodation page on your website. So you could have completely different floating buttons that go off to different people. And of course, the link bio page, isn't that going to look so cool on your contact page? You got your contact form, but now next door to it, you've got this pre-built widget as well. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. Catch you later. See you soon. Bye.